The fight, Liz. Manny Brown. Rico Sandretti. Murray! Where are those tickets? Murray! I'm here for a minute. Tickets. 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 Try not to disturb Liz. She's relatively stable and she's out of danger, but who knows when she'll wake up. That's not my problem. As far as the other problem goes, which is to say how we are finally going to get free of Fitz Randolph, everything's been taken care of. Define everything. First, I'll construct a chip extractor to liberate the rest of Fitz Randolph's victims safely. Now I'll need you to get me one or two components, said Fly. After all, you're still my volunteer. Plus, you'll have to make sure to keep Fitz Randolph away from here, he continued. He can't find out that we've gotten free. Fascinating. And the part about the escape? That's the best of all. Big Albert is at the end of this hallway with the immaterial man and the poet of pain. Three of the most brilliantly lucid and lucidly brilliant minds of our time. At this moment, they are designing a master plan that will sink Fitz Randolph's plans. Oh, and I suppose that you also want me to help them, right? Murray, you're a man of action. Leave the thinking to the professionals, okay? Oh, yeah? You know what action I feel like taking right now? Breaking your face. <laughs> what a guy! Witam serdecznie w szóstym już bodaj odcinku The Next Big Thing, Let's Play as The Next Big Thing. Liz tam sobie ciągle odbywa podróż po swojej podświadomości, natomiast Dan tutaj walczy, walczy o Liz i walczy by wyjaśnić całą tę sytuację, by przeciwstawić się Fitz Randolphowi. No i na dobry początek może niech zabierze pudełko stąd. For tea bags. A drink for sissies. <laughs> Tak, profesorowi muszę są potrzebne jakieś dwa przedmioty. How's it going, half pint? Murray, I need a couple of things. Something that resembles the chip and one of the glasses Celsius uses to charge them. Coś przypominającego chip i jedno ze szkieł, którym Fitz Randolph ten te chipy ładuje. Ta trójka naszych towarzyszy ma myśleć nad rozwiązaniem tej sytuacji. Może porozmawiajmy z nimi. I spy. What do you spy? Something. What does it start with? It starts with a L. Lemon. Lumbago. I can't bother him. He's working on a master plan to put an end to Fitz Randolph. Tak, właśnie. Widać jak myśli. Chyba myślenie nie jest jego najmocniejszą stroną, chociaż... Może to tylko pozory, nie będę go oceniał przez pryzmat jego specyficznych wypowiedzi. Manny Brown, Rico Sandretti. Where are the tickets? Where? A teraz się udamy, właśnie wejdziemy w te drzwi i zobaczymy co jest po drugiej stronie. O, jest taka ciekawa lokacja. Lokacja, w której trochę zawodzi ym, ten przycisk istotnych miejsc, bo pokazuje ym, tylko dwa, tylko tę beczkę i to, natomiast nie pokazuje wyjścia na przykład z lokacji do laboratorium, nie pokazuje tego wyjścia, więc ym, no akurat się doczepię. Muszę się do czegoś doczepić, a nie miałem zbyt wielu okazji. Całej beczki Dan wziąć nie może. Ale tutaj jest głowa. O, więc to może być ta rzecz, której poszukuje profesor Mucha. No i sprawdźmy, co jest w tej beczce. Dan jej nie chce wziąć, ale rzucić okiem na pewno może. Smells like gunpowder. Proch, beczka z prochem. No i teraz taka czynność dość roz rozpaczliwa. Jak, jak ten proch zabrać? Gdzie go zmieścić? 
Ano, do saszetki herbaty można wsypać, można podmienić herbatę na właśnie proch. Dan Murray, 7 years old, the gun store of Bill Tuxin, pipe aficionado. My friend Sonny distracted Bill. I emptied the pipe and refilled it with gunpowder. Result? Dan and Sonny grounded for three weeks. Bill Tuxin in the hospital for four. But today it's not a pipe. Let's give it a try. I hope I learned my lesson. When I filled Bill Tuxin's pipe with gunpowder, the result was disastrous. Hmm. <laughs> Jak słyszymy już w młodości, Dan był trochę nierozgarnięty. Ingenious way to camouflage the entrance to the laboratory. Whatever else Willie may be, he's a guy who knows how to do things right. Tajne przejście, pomysłowo zamaskowana winda. On, natomiast tutaj już od razu widać, że to jest jakaś wytwórnia filmowa produkująca horrory. Te plakaty mówią wszystko. Dances with demons, czy demons. Tańce z demonami. They want to oh, catch you. Chcą cię złapać. Ten plakat można obejrzeć z bliska. From one of those horror flicks that Willie makes. Sympatyczne zombiaki. Fajne miejsce. Wystrój mi się podoba jak najbardziej. This leads outside the building and ah, this building is where Willie's office is. But I'm not leaving for now. Tak, dużo drzwi. To są drzwi wyjściowe. To są drzwi wejściowo-wyjściowe i to również... Mm, sprawdźmy najpierw te po prawej. Bingo! There's Willy watching a flick that that Eli Edmund... Uh, that guy who's painted blue is showing. Although it's more of an interview than a flick. Main characters. A dark-haired Amazon, a greasy fat guy, and Liz Allaire. Back to work. Well, if it isn't my buddy Murray, stop the film, Kajanowski. Whatever you say, Mr. Fitzrandall. Celsius already let you go? How are you? Better than you. Are you sure? Just what I said. Fitzrandolph is fab. That's better. I'm glad to have you on my side. Good for you. Fitzrandolph loves us all. <laughs> what a guy. Wit and style in spite of everything. Working? I'm just finishing watching a short advertisement that we just filmed. As soon as I'm done, I'll stop by Celsius Laboratory and see how everything is going down there. Wait for me there, okay? A co się ma dziać? Lepiej, żeby tam nie schodził, zaglądać, bo znajdzie związaną lis i uwięzionego doktora Celsiusa. How'd the screening go? Smooth sailing. The film transmits exactly what it should transmit. What's the film you're watching? Tomorrow, you'll find out, Murray. You don't trust me? Fitz Randolph is fab. Of course I trust you, but... Uh, later, when I finish watching it, come by my office and I'll tell you. Is it a deal? Deal. Don't go down to the laboratory, because... It's awfully cold. Thank you, Murray, but I dress warmly. I won't catch a cold. Everything's under control. I know, I know, but I'm a bit of a micromanager, you know, I like to be on top of everything. Celsius has a ton of work. Then he'll appreciate the support of his boss, don't you think? And if he's goofing off, he'll snap to it. Because... never mind. Forget it. I'm out of here. Fitz Randolph is fab. <laughs> what a guy. Start it up again, Kajanowski. Yes, sir. Tak, Fitz Randolph is subcio. Jak widać, to, to jest najprawdziwsza prawda, skoro nawet Dan tak zaczął twierdzić. A bonbon? Dan Murray to the rescue. Honey, I'm Dan Murray, and you are... Get out of your imbecile. Don't you know who I am? No idea. I'm Eva Marte, the queen of the scream, and this is the Grim Reaper. The two actors the most hated by anyone with a modicum of ethical sense. Good for you. Dear, this imbecile doesn't know who we are. I'm sleepy. 
you kill him. I wish. But you heard Mr. Fitz Randolph. From now on, we have to behave ourselves. Fitz Randolph is fab. Fitz Randolph loves us all. Tak, Fitz Randolph is sub, czyli Fitz Randolph kocha nas wszystkich. Hmm, dziwna para, no ale taka para z nadmiernie wysokim ego i raczej patrzy na dana jedynie z politowaniem. Is it my imagination or are you two a little sadistic? I love kitties. Me, I love little birdies. Fascinating. Cats are nice and crunchy. Birds even more so. Fatso. Pig. Old man. Filthy. I love you. I adore you. Fascinating. Two things that you like, off the top of your heads. The sobbing of a child. Funerals. Why does Fitz Randolph want you to behave yourselves? Because now we're his spokespeople, imbecile. His spokespeople, stupid. Speaking for what? Of something we're not authorized to tell you about. If we told you, we'd have to kill you. But we can't kill people either. I see. What a mess. Debilu, głupku. Ale Dan chyba musi często słyszeć takie epitety, bo jak widać nie reaguje z przesadną agresją. What are you doing here? Waiting for Fitz Randolph to let us go, imbecile. Waiting, stupid. I'm leaving. Aya, imbecile. Aya, stupid. No cóż, niezbyt miła parka. Nothing in the pockets. Nic? It looks like the one Looney Tunes was wearing at the party last night. No niedobrze. Tylko kurtka, więc przejdźmy tu, w lewo. O, torebka i krzesło. Więc co znajduje się wewnątrz torebki? O to jest pytanie. Być może coś użytecznego dla nas. Who's is this? Let's see who this belongs to. Mystery solved. Liza Lair's press pass. That's it. But I'm curious about this. Hmm. Although I hardly know you, I know you'll be an important person in my life. And signed by Zelsius. Is that pig trying to hook up with Liz? I'll show him. But then, why do I care? It's not as if I were interested in that halfwit. Let's see what else. And that's how everything ended up for Dan Murray. He found the tickets that he wanted so much, he went home, he had a nice siesta on the sofa, and counted the minutes until Friday night. Although, who are we trying to fool? We all know that Dan wasn't there for the tickets, right? Anyway. At last, I have what I want. I could get out of here right now, but... What would that band of incompetence in the laboratory do without me? Let's get this thing over with. Hmm, czyli jednak Dan nie pobiegł od razu sobie odpocząć przed tym ważnym meczem bokserskim pojedynkiem. No tylko jednak może chce uratować Lis. Może jednak trochę mu na niej zależy, kto wie, kto wie. There's something sitting on it. A letter and three numbers. Who knows? No dokładnie, kto wie, czyli to co przed chwilą sam powiedziałem. One number and three letters. What can they be for? B O 2 5. Jakiś kod, jakiś szyfr może nam się przyda. No i to co napisał um, Zels już do Lis, to jest to czego się obawiałem. Czyli on chce ją poderwać. Brr. Aż mi się normalnie niedobrze robi. Kiedy sobie o tym myślę. Pokażmy może tę bransoletkę Fitz Randolphowi. Nie, na razie nie można. Hmm, although I hardly know you, I know you'll be an important person in my life. Na razie nie można pokazać, dobra. 
Spróbujmy się uporać z tą windą, bo będziemy musieli jeszcze tam zejść do profesora Muchy. Nice. Elevator 1, Murray 0. If it opens with a combination, that wasn't it. Elevator 2, Murray 0. Przegrywasz ten pojedynek. No luck. It won't open. Nie chce się otworzyć. Czyli co? Dalej 2-0? No to mamy swoje sposoby. Ten szyfr, który znaleźliśmy na kawałku papieru. I'll dial the four digits from the note. Elevator 3, Murray 4. Great comeback. Game over. As long as I'm not sure that Fitz Randolph isn't going to go down and make trouble, I'm not going down there. At least now I know how to open this, which is something. Mecz z windą wygrany. Teraz trzeba przekonać Fitz Randolpha, żeby tam pod żadnym pozorem nie schodził. Został nam ostateczny argument, czyli ten liścik Barego z Resiusza do Lis. Hmm. Nie? No to jeszcze raz porozmawiajmy. Put it on pause, Kajanowski. What is it, Murray? I repeat, don't go down to the laboratory because... Zelsius and I need our privacy, huh? Although I hardly know you, I know you will be an important person in my life. Yours, Barry Zelsius. <laughs> what a guy. Murray, my friend, you're a fountain of surprises. If you only knew. And Zelsius, too. Who would have guessed? Anyhow, I won't mess up your plans. I'll cancel my visit to the laboratory and I'll leave you two alone. Deal? Deal. I hope that Willie keeps his mouth shut, because that lie could do a lot of damage to my reputation, thought Dan. Because I have too many girlfriends who would be more than a little surprised. But anyway, in exchange, I get the tickets and Willie's word that he won't go into the laboratory. Start it up again, Kajanowski. Yes, sir. Tak, w końcu Dan jest uczestnikiem zawodów łóżkowych, jak wiemy z trzeciego rozdziału. No i pewnie głupio by mu było, gdyby przylgnęła do niego taka łatka. Osoby ze skłonnościami homoseksualnymi. Przyjaciółki mogłyby nie być zadowolone. Zresztą z Zelsiuszem, och, aż... Nie, nie, wolę sobie nie wyobrażać danej Zelsiusza. Dobra, zapomnijmy o tym, zdecydowanie zapomnijmy. A teraz pokażmy profesorowi muszę dwa przedmioty. Głowę robota. Will this work half pint? Oh, of course it will. Why didn't I think of that before? In all these components, there's sure to be something similar to a chip. I'll finish what I'm doing and then I'll take it apart. I drugi przedmiot, czyli ta bransoletka. Will this work half pint? Hey, the thing in the center is one of the glass things that Celsius uses to charge the chips. There are no two ways about it. Murray, with this, I have everything I need to build a reliably safe chip extractor. Let me work for a bit and I'll have it in no time. Thanks for the components, Murray, said Fly. Give me a little while to work on this and I'll have the chip extractor shining and ready in no time. Hey, uh, Looney, uh, thanks for the tickets. I was thinking that it... I have an extra one. Uh, I know boxing ain't your thing, but... So anyway, get better, okay? You've got to be strong, Vince. Strong, just like a rock. Dan Strong, Liz Companion Dan, Liz Strong, Liz Break It. Finally! I was dying to get a 
chance to talk to myself. I'm going to give myself a piece of my mind. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. How's it going? Here I am. Ah. And you? Here also. How nice. Well, yes. Fitz Randolph is fab. What? Fitz Randolph loves us all. I never say fab. It's never too late to change, Liz. Change to say fab? Change so that William A. Fitz Randolph can be the first monster in Congress. Finally, Liz understood that if she wanted to get back to being herself, she would have to free her other from the yoke of Fitz Randolph. Tak. Walka dwóch teraz osobowości Liz. Tej, która wszystko rozumie, myśli trzeźwo i tej, która ma w sobie ten chip i uważa, że Fitz Randolph jest subcio i kocha nas wszystkich. Ciekawy to będzie pojedynek. No i porozmawiajmy. Trudno mi powiedzieć, czy to będzie dialog, czy monolog. W końcu Liz rozmawia z Liz. Więc bardziej monolog, ale... No nie wiem. W każdym razie niech Lis porozmawia z Lis. Hey yo, hey yo. Do you have any electric blue nail polish? No, but I wish I did because I've been wanting to paint my nails since yesterday afternoon. Me too. Ever since I escaped from a zeppelin. Me too. It's amazing how alike we are, Liz. Do you know how I know that you're not me? But Liz, I am you. By your makeup, Liz, I would never make myself up like that. Uh, that wasn't me. The makeup director insisted that these were my ideal colors. Well, they look terrible on you. Fitz Randolph loves us all. That bad? So bad that I feel embarrassed for you. Me. I'll be right back. Nora? Are you there? Ugh, what a pain. Where were you going? The makeup director isn't here, and on top of that, she took her things. Huh. Now what? That's what I say. Fitz Randolph is fab. I have to tell you something about Fitz Randolph. Fitz Randolph has brainwashed you, and I'm grateful to him. It's important to keep these things clean. Fitz Randolph is fab. You escaped from his Zeppelin, don't you remember? Of course I remember. But I was mistaken then. Fitz Randolph loves us all. Trudno będzie ją przekonać, ale trzeba sięgnąć po ostateczny i najmocniejszy argument. Jest przyjacielem Dana Mareja, tego dupka. He's a friend of Dan Murray, that jerk. No, of that jerk? Yes, Liz, of that jerk. That can't be. I don't believe it, Liz. Let's drop Fitz Randolph. I will always follow him. Fitz Randolph is fab. Eya, Liz. Eya, Liz. No i proszę, ten argument niemal przekonał. Um, Liz numer dwa. Więc byliśmy blisko, no ale um, ta druga Liz od razu zapomina o, o tym, co złe. Co, co w Fitz Randolphie jest złego i Pamięta tylko te dobre rzeczy, że Fitz Randolph jest subcio i kocha nas wszystkich przecież. Hey yo, hey yo. Has the makeup person come back? Wait here for me. Musimy teraz wykorzystać okazję, że Liz poszła, Liz numer dwa poszła sobie. You'll see how there's makeup in here. No, but this bracelet goes. It's not my style and I won't let Liz wear it. Or watch a pair of animals hitting each other. How is Fitz Randolph affecting her in this terrible way? Let's see. A clamp. And a magnet. Pros. Better to have these two things than not. Nothing. No tak, więc przynajmniej mamy już coś w ekwipunku 
i możemy pokombinować, ale najpierw rzućmy okiem na pudełka, bo one znów zmieniły nazwy. 203 lub więcej bezużytecznych pudełek, bezużyteczne pudełko pełne ślimaków, bezużyteczne pudełko pełne lamp węzełkowych, bezużyteczne pudełko nagród i tak dalej. Wszystkie pudełka stały się nagle bezużyteczne. Puszka Pandory tej bezużytecznej kobiety, bezużyteczne pudełko z jagnięciem, no i tak dalej. Więc no, same bezużyteczne pudełka. O, pudełko książek, to nie jest bezużyteczne. Proszę, proszę. Więc to taka ciekawostka. A niektóre też zmieniły opisy. No ale już nie będę tego wszystkiego sprawdzał, bo większość się chyba powtarza. Wychodzimy stąd. A byłoby miło, no przepraszam cię, Lis, ale płaczącej się jeszcze nie widziałem i Jakoś nie wyobrażam sobie ciebie. Oj. Jak cię będę tak prowadził, to chyba rzeczywiście się rozpłaczesz. Well, if it isn't Anne Marie. Although Liz still didn't know it, Anne Marie's help was absolutely essential. So then, what did this help consist of? Anne Marie. Kolejna ukochana siostrzyczka Lis. Zanim przystąpimy do rozmowy, może się tutaj rozejrzyjmy. Um, korpka. Tak, przypomina ci się pokój Fit Randolfa. Ah, no, I was mistaken. If you turn it, it comes off. How simple and effective. Mm, właśnie takie. Hmm. Miłosne gniazdko, które się ujawnia przy przekręcaniu korbki. Ciekawy pomysł, ale chyba nie będę go stosował w życiu. To Anne Maria Lair for her study of music at the most prestigious school in the country, Juilliard, in New York. It's frightening to think that Anne Marie studied business in California and music in New York simultaneously. She commuted back and forth by plane every day, but that's not the worst part. In the meantime, She took advantage of the experience to earn a flight attendant certificate. To Anne Maria Lair for her master in business from the prestigious Stanford University, California. Pełno dyplomów widać wykształcona z niej kobietka. A czy fajna, czy sympatyczna? No przekonamy się za chwilę. Jeszcze ten, no tu jest wieszak, panowie i panie. Wieszak chce. O, jest. Is this your jacket? A client gave it to me, comma, a boxer, comma, the guy with the tickets, comma, but it's not my style as you know, period. If you like it, comma, it's yours. I don't like it. I'll keep it. It's really ugly. Thank you. Dialogi z nią są bardzo specyficzne, ale <laughs> chyba raczej w negatywnym sensie. Ugh, you'd have to like sports a lot to wear this. Bo ona wymawia wszystkie przecinki, wszystkie kropki, wszystkie znaki zapytania. I jeśli to czytamy, to... To jest problem. Jeszcze trudniej to zrozumieć niż pismo. Kiedyś ludzie młodzi tak pisali, że na zmianę duże i małe litery. Też ciężko, trudno się to czytało. No i wypowiedzi Anne Marie również. Trudno się ich słucha i trudno się je czyta. Więc te dialogi nie należą do moich ulubionych zdecydowanie. Ale gra ładnie, ładna muzyka. Hey yo, Anne Marie. Welcome, comma. Elizabeth period the Allaire Gallery thanks you for having inspired Queenie to paint these five paintings period. You've talked to her. Finally. I knew you two would work it out. Incorrect assessment period. She sent them to me by messenger with a note period. Postscript Colin. She also attached the voodoo painting in the window, period. Ah, yes, I saw it when she was starting to paint it. Opening parenthesis. I hope that doesn't affect you too much. Ellipsis closing parenthesis. Why would the voodoo painting affect me? Because of what happened when mom and dad took us to New Orleans, period. What happened when mom and dad took us to New Orleans? You still can't remember it? Question mark. 
An old woman, Dash, a witch, Dash, gave you a doll and told you that if you put two objects belonging to someone on it, it would turn into a voodoo doll, comma. And that's what you did, period. Lalka voodoo to może być dla nas użyteczna informacja. No ale jeszcze nie wiadomo po co. How did we make the voodoo doll? You cut a lock of hair from a girl and you put it on the doll as a wig, period. Then you took her handkerchief and you tied it around the doll as if it were a skirt, period. What happened to the girl we made the voodoo doll for? You said that the doll had accidentally fallen into a hole filled with mud and that under the laws of voodoo, the girl had also fallen, comma, just after that, period. The girl got very mad and we never saw her again, ellipsis. Czyli może to zadziała, ta laleczka voodoo. What was the name of the girl we practiced voodoo on? Don't you remember? Question mark. She was with us for years as a babysitter, colon. Her name was Stacy, period. That name doesn't mean anything to me. How strange, exclamation mark. You were obsessed with her for years, comma, and compared her to everything you saw, colon, a vase, comma, a crane, comma, a suitcase, opening parenthesis, one of the big kind, exclamation mark, closing parenthesis, comma, ellipsis. Well, no, I don't remember, but people have been messing with my brain a lot lately. Może i do sokowirówki tę Stacy Lee przyrówna. You play other instruments besides the piano, right? I have certificates in piano, comma, classical guitar, comma, violin, comma, cello and percussion, period. Wait, control Z colon, not cello, comma. I still have another year to go, period. Hmm. What do you think about all this? That Quinny and you threw Stacy into the well, comma, and that you invented the connection to the doll to avoid getting chewed out, period. There's no such thing as magic, period, end of paragraph. Czyli racjonalne wyjaśnienie wszystkiego można znaleźć według Anne-Marie. You always look like you have everything under control. One mustn't let oneself get carried away by emotion, comma, Elizabeth, period. Even when you're, shift lock, extremely and terribly angry, shift lock, comma, always remember this, comma, to analyze your feelings dispassionately, period, end of paragraph. Bez namiętne analizowanie swoich uczuć, to chyba nudne i nie warto iść za przykładem Anne-Marie, chociaż, no nie wiem, ja tego nie pochwalam. Something very strange happened to me. I spoke to myself, Elizabeth. Colin, you're always doing that. Period. Opening parenthesis. I wonder when you'll get some focus and stop doing it. Period. Closing parenthesis. Eya. Eya. Exclamation point. Na trudna osobka z tej Anmari i taka raczej bardziej nieprzyjemna niż przyjemna zdecydowanie. For boxing. Myślałem, że w kieszeniach, że że ją przeszukasz, no ale nie. Jeszcze dwa piętra nam zostały. Fitz Randolph is fab. Huh? Fitz Randolph loves us all. Aha! Now I know who's making the other Liz say the silly thing she says. Proszę, doktor Barry Zelsiusz. Ciągle powtarza tę samą gadkę, że Fitzrandolf jest subcio, Fitzrandolf kocha nas wszystkich. Show him. Fitz Randolph is fab. Hey, cheeky. Cheeky? Fitz Randolph That's loves strange. us all. You can't see me or hear me. All the better. <laughs> Liz zrobiła taką minę jak niegdyś do niedźwiedzia. No ale na niego nic nie działa. Um, spróbujmy dać mu korbką w łeb. Let's see if he reacts to this. 
Nie działa to na niego. No nic, na razie się nie da nic z nim zrobić, niestety. No ale spróbujemy później. Najpierw jednak odwiedzimy ten guzik, znaczy piętro numer 52. O, zabierzmy najpierw tam tam Stąd. Toby. Dan live alone in jungle? Dan, bachelor shack. Dan, bring women to shack. Liz, want go Dan shack? Liz, never first date. Dan, not friends? Jungle, many bachelor shacks. Which doctor? Dan, best friend. Which doctor live far? Which doctor live close, above Dan head? Which doctor talk no more? Dan się, Liz się bardzo dobrze przystosowała do Dana. Widać potrafi nawet z nim w takiej postaci znaleźć wspólny język. Dan big knife? Dan give to Liz? Liz no throw knife? Liz second best markswoman Mendelssohn club. Dan no no club? Dan test Liz. Pewnie też startowało dwoje uczestników. Tak jak z profesorem Muchą i tymi jego zawodami. Liz, bad thrower. Liz, no knife. Knife work bad. Knife very bad. Knife good. Liz, bad. Liz, eat apple. Liz, get strong. With her pride in her marksmanship wounded, Liz decided that she would take the knife throwing test that Dan was proposing. Nuż dobry, a Liz zła, no niestety. No ale trochę oleju w głowie naszej dzielnej Liz zostało, więc może spróbujemy sposobem umieścić magnes wewnątrz jabłka. Great idea. No i spróbujmy teraz w nie trafić. Liz, knife test more. Liz, great thrower. Dan, surprise. Ha! Because Liz, trick. Liz put magnet in apple. Dan, no, no word magnet. Liz, great thrower. Liz, keep Dan knife. Liz, say, Dan, thank you. And so, thanks to her ingenuity and Dan's tiny vocabulary, Liz passed the knife throwing test. Próba rzucania jest już za nami. Mamy nóż. Może jeszcze. O, dajmy bilety Danowi. Prawdzie nie są to bilety na tę walkę, na którą chciał pójść, ale może i tego zainteresują. Considering who I'm dealing with, I'll hold on to it to trade for something else later. Nie. Na razie ich nie chcę. Właściwie Liz mu nie chce dać. Dan, you play Tom Tom? Dan Warrior. Dan Strong. Dan No Music. No nic. Przejdziemy teraz. Może najpierw jeszcze wejdę na 41 piętro, bo mam niejasne przeczucie, że nie wziąłem jednego przedmiotu stamtąd. Tylko gdzie ten przedmiot się może znajdować? Muszę go poszukać. Only I would think of hanging the jacket in a place like this. Hmm. A może on jest ten przedmiot w zupełnie innym jednak miejscu? No nic. Poszukam sobie jeszcze. Bo tu powinna być gdzieś ta laleczka wudu. Nie pamiętam, gdzie ona sobie leżała. 
Widocznie nie tutaj. Dobra, idziemy do Anne Marie. Aha, chyba wiem gdzie. Tak, chyba już wiem gdzie była laleczka wodu. Tak jest. E, dobra, e, dajmy Anne Marie tego tam tama, niech nam na nim zagra. I have a tom tom. Could you play it for me? Of course. Period. Do you have the sheet music? Question mark. No. Elizabeth, comma. I never play without sheet music. Period. I never improvise. Comma. So, colon, give me the sheet music for the tom tom. Comma. And I will play it for you whenever you like. Period. Tak. Nigdy. Ona nie zagra, jeśli nie będzie znała tej melodii dokładnie. Jeśli nie będzie znała rytmu. Taka perfekcjonistka, która wszystko musi mieć zapięte na ostatni guzik, a propos guzika, ym, zjeżdżamy, wjeżdżamy na piętro 52. Ejo, Dan. Ejo, Liz. Dan, no, Fitz Randolph? Dan, no, no word, Fit Randolph. Here we go again. Dan, not friends? Jungle, many bachelor shacks. Witch doctor, Dan, best friend. Witch doctor, sheet music, Tom Tom? Music sheet. Correct. Witch doctor have, but he no give. He angry. Um, what witch doctor like? Witch doctor like sport. Witch doctor and me? Always see animal fights together. No właśnie, a my mamy bilety na walkę zwierząt. Which doctor live far? Which doctor live close? Above Dan head. Which doctor talk no more? Liz speak about crocodile. You fight crocodile? Dan strong. Dan great warrior. Dan throw knife, crocodile, far. Liz enter crocodile mouth. Dan no believe. Liz crazy. Nawet jaskiniowiec Dan to potwierdził, że Liz jest szalona. Life is crocodile. Sometimes stuffed animal, sometimes bite. Dan understand. No. Crocodile talk no more. Hey ya, Dan. Dobra. Hey ya, Liz. Dajmy mu wreszcie te bilety, bo um, te dyskusje między jaskiniowcem Danem a, a wariatką Lis um, no są bardzo abstrakcyjne i może dość ich już. Dan see Liz eat paper? Dan no see. Liz eat, so Dan see. I have two pieces that say Martin Fowlful Erickson versus Dean. You give Dan. Dan give which doctor friend. Which doctor smile. And which doctor give Tom Tom music to Liz? Yes. Which doctor give Dan and Dan give Liz? If Liz give Dan and Dan give which doctor? Liz give. Authentic sheet music for tribal tom toms. Ale w tych dialogach też jest trochę zabawy słowem fajnej. Mamy partyturę, więc wracamy do Ann Marie, czyli do tej postaci, no za którą nie przepadam. Głównie przez sposób, w jaki się wypowiada. I've got the sheet music for the tom tom. Will you play for me? Of course! Exclamation point. No i spójrzmy. Ktoś wewnątrz tego obrazu tańczy. Is it just me or does it move when the tom tom is playing? A to obraz pędza Queenie, czyli naszej utalentowanej artystycznie siostrzyczki.
Hello? Question mark. No, comma, I'm not interested in contracting your services, period. I'm telling you that I'm happy with my telephone company, comma, miss, period. I just told you that, shift lock, I'm happy with my telephone company. Goodbye. Exclamation point, shift lock. And that crazy Elizabeth? Question mark. Well, comma, I'm not quitting in the middle of the piece. Ellipsis. Best not to tell her I took this because she'd never believe me. Ale jak widać i ona się uniosła, więc dała się ponieść emocjom podczas tej rozmowy, bo podniosła głos. No a ten motyw wchodzenia do obrazów od razu mi się przypomniał jeden z jedna z książeczek tytuł z Romek i Atomek. Thank you. It's a pleasure to hear you play. You're welcome. Exclamation point. Finally, Liz got Anne Marie's help, but what good would it do her? No i druga rzecz, która mi się przypomniała, to rzecz jasna seria Drone. Drone the Painted Tower, Dark Flight. No i trzecia część już wyszła, z której jeszcze let's playa nie nagrałem. Taki fajny motyw wchodzenia do obrazu czy do filmu. Z tym, że Liz ledwo co z niego wyszła, bo y, można było do niego wejść i z niego wyjść y, i żyć wewnątrz tego obrazu, jedynie wtedy, gdy mm, Anne-Marie grała tę melodię na tamtamie. Teraz przychodzimy do naszego przyjaciela Barego Celsjusza. To jest taki hipnotyczny pokój, z którego sygnały docierają do do tych chipów wszczepionych między innymi Lis i innym postaciom. Dochodzi do nich ten głos. Fitzrandolf jest subcio. Fitzrandolf kocha nas wszystkich. No i pewnie widzą w głowie też tego Fitzrandolfa. Mamy nóż, więc wytnijmy kawałek szaty z Elsiusza. Ciekawe, ale widać mu nogi. Swoją drogą, właśnie ten, ten gość z obrazu Spencer McDandy powiedział, że Queenie ma coś, czego nie ma Liz, czyli nie wiem, kobiecość, czy nawet figurę. Tak samo Liz mówiła o sobie coś, że jest gruba parę razy, a ona ma figurę, jest bardzo zgrabna. Także nie rozumiem tego. No ale są gusta i guściki. Dobra, mamy szatę z Zelsiusza. Owińmy lalkę voodoo. It reminds me of someone. Może w kurteczkę? I don't want this to turn into the voodoo doll of a boxer. No dobra, w takim razie obranzoletkę na oko, bo coś ma na oku ten Zelsius. Now it really is a voodoo doll. Yes, yes, yes. Goodbye, Doctor Cheeky. And that was how Liz became herself again, freeing her alter ego from the alienating influence of Fitz Randolph. Let's take a look. Fitz Randolph's not there. Fitz Randolph is Eva Morte and the Grim Reaper? Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, come up front. We're gonna start filming. Places. Light. Camera. Action! Liz! We have to stop it, Dan. What? Fitz Randolph. He's going to run for Congress. But the monsters scare people because of his horror films. 
and that's negative for his campaign. That's why he wants to make family pictures. And he's putting chips in the brains of the monsters that refuse to go along with him. Yes! Like the Grim Reaper and Evermorte. Yes, yes, yes. He used them to make a film where I interview them and they say that everyone should vote for Fitz Randolph because... Fitz Randolph loves us all. He's completely changed my life. His dream of equality has given my life new meaning. With Fitz Randolph, we will be free. Tomorrow, 3,000 copies of his propaganda film will be shown all across the country. I know where the film is. I'll try to steal it. No, no, no. I have a better idea. <laughs> Said Liz. I'll film a new movie in which Eva Morte and the Grim Reaper tell the truth. This is the plan. We'll make a new film where Eva Morte and the Grim Reaper tell the truth. You'll switch the films, and ours will be the one that people see tomorrow. Good. I'll be thinking about how to do the switcheroo, said Dan. But I doubt that those two sadistic monsters will collaborate with you, and even less so with the chips. At last this has a solution. Problem with your free will? Sick of the weight of that brain ship that you can never get free of? Don't despair. At last there's a solution. Presenting incredible Professor Five patented chip extractor. Fascinating. It's the most fantastic invention ever. Fascinatingly incredible, isn't it? But that's not all. If you buy the incredible Professor Fly's chip extractor, you'll receive not one, but two extractors. I repeat, not one, but two of the incredible Professor Fly's chip extractors. Want to leave your friends with their mouths hanging open? Stop thinking about it and take action. The extractors were absolutely perfect, but once they were free of Fitz Randolph's influence, Eva and the Grim Reaper began to show their true faces by refusing to cooperate. They got ready to leave, ruining Liz's plan, when the self-sacrificing Dan Murray got ready to step across the line that separates the men from the heroes. Wait, I'm about to do something that's going to make me hate myself for the rest of my life. Are you going to humiliate yourself, stupid? Sounds interesting, imbecile. Let's see. Dużo się działo. Po pierwsze, przede wszystkim, Lis otrząsnęła się z tego marazmu i przekonała swoją drugą ja, że, że Fitzrandol w niej jest subcio i wcale nas wszystkich nie kocha. No i teraz Dan musi stać, Dan musi stać się facetem i zrezygnować z tych biletów, przekazać bilety, które są naprawdę wielką rzeczą, jak wynika z nazwy tej oto parze. The time has come. Take a deep breath, Murray. Punches, black eyes, broken noses, cracked ribs, gratuitous violence. They're listening, stupid. Go on, imbecile. Manny Brown, Rico Sandretti, Los Angeles Stadium, Friday night. The tickets are yours. And that was how Dan Murray, by denying himself, transcended his nature and made himself into a legend. The idea worked very well. The two actors agreed to collaborate on a new version of the interview in exchange for the tickets. So they went on the set with Liz while Dan thought of how he would replace the new version for Fitz Randolph's copy. Fascinating. Half my paycheck says that what he's carrying is the film and that he's headed for his office. Meanwhile, let's see what uh, Emil has to say. Ernie, uh, Kadinovsky. Shoot, he's not here. But he did leave the spray gun for cleaning off graffiti that he pointed at me when he was pretending to be a space clown. Closed, of course. Dziwna sprawa była przed chwilą, mianowicie narrator uronił łezkę i otarł ją sobie z oka. No, czyżby był, było mu szkoda tych biletów Dana? Ciekawe, ciekawe. Trzeba się będzie dostać jakoś do sali projekcyjnej, do gniazdka Kajdanowskiego. Połóżmy tutaj saszetkę, albo nie. Mamy kij, więc może po prostu siłą się uda wtargnąć do środka. This is always the best solution. Go at anything that doesn't work with a club. Although I just remembered my Aunt Peggy. May she rest in peace. Always criticizing my healthy and relaxing fits of vandalism. 
If she could see me now, she'd say, wait, and if she didn't see me? This is for you, Aunt Peggy. All that for nothing. Nie zadziałało, więc teraz spróbujmy sposobu. Może ten proch nam, proch w herbacie, nam przyniesie jakąś korzyść, pomoże nam. That might make sense in a way. Done. It fits perfectly into the keyhole. No, ale to nie wszystko trzeba będzie jakiś ląd do tego sobie załatwić, żeby podpalić i żeby to wszystko wybuchło. Najpierw pójdziemy porozmawiać z Fitz Randolphem. Może nam wyjawi swoje plany. Powie nam o czym ten film ma być. Choć już w zasadzie to wszystko wiemy przecież. Yes, the moment to visit Willie's office has arrived. And so, Willie, have you called the people to have it copied? Yes, they'll be here in a little while, and then they'll copy the film ipso facto. Good for you. Now that I'm completely and exclusively at your service, Fitz Randolph is fab. There's something I need you to clear up for me. Why don't you quit smoking? Because I won't. It's my health, my breath, and my money. If it bothers someone, who cares? I am William A. Fitz Randolph. And I have earned the right to be above these matters. Isn't that guy over there, Bobby Russell, the masseur for the freaks? <laughs> that guy? Murray, don't you know anything about the movies? Nothing, and proud of it. That's Carl Doherty, one of... When Liz has the film ready, thought Dan, I might be able to make the switch when Willie's looking the other way. But no, Willie would see me. I can't take that chance. He can't see me. The most famous actors. He's been retired for the last four or five years. Whatever you say, but he looks an awful lot like Bobby Russell. What's this film about? It's a short that will be shown tomorrow in over 3,000 of my theaters all over the country. The film is a short? Wasn't it an interview? In reality, it's an advertisement in the form of an interview. The start of the election campaign of the future congressman William A. Fitz Randolph. Why do you want to get involved in politics? To do justice. My grandfather was a congressman, but that road is closed to me because of my physical appearance. Murray, we monsters should have exactly the same rights as everyone else. And thanks to William A. Fitz Randolph, we will have them. Wait, I have more questions. Może i racja, no ale te metody, jakimi Fitz Randolph chce osiągnąć to wszystko, nie są zbyt dobre i raczej nie pochwalam ich. Why did you have Liz do the interview on the film? She's intelligent and naive, so she doesn't have any known biases against one ideology or another. Plus, her family is very respected in this state, both by business people because of her father and her sister, the businesswoman, and by more bohemian people because of her other sister, the painter. Why do you include the Lord of the Night and Evermorte in the recording when everyone hates them? People hate them because of how they are. But I've offered a completely new and different image of them. Sweet, lovable, generous. My message is, if William A. Fitz Randolph was able to change them, he can change anything. Your vision of equality is very good, but some people may think it's ugly to manipulate people. First, no one will ever know. Second, a lofty goal requires a lofty sacrifice. If it's necessary to sacrifice the freedom of a few to ensure the common good, you can count on William A. Fitz Randolph to do it. Let's change the subject. I'm out of here. Good luck with Celsius. A właśnie, taka trochę hipokryzja przez niego przemawia, bo niby chce um, równości dla potworów, Natomiast no, sam te potwory zniewala i zabiera im wolność, więc coś jest nie tak. Chyba chce korzyści jedynie dla samego siebie, dla tego jednego potwora, a nie dla wszystkich. Tak ja to widzę przynajmniej. Tell me, Willy. I have a good reason for you to quit smoking. Oh yes? Your election campaign. Tobacco is bad for your image. Mothers won't want you to hold their babies. That's true, but... Uh... But what? Fitz Randolph loves us all. 
but his breath stinks. Come on, the pipe, Willie. Murray, you are a true friend. Lit and everything, Fitz Randolph is fab. I'm out of here. Good luck with Celsius. Tak, powodzenia z Zelsiuszem. Fitz Randolph jest subci, ale łatwo go jednak przekonać było. Podpalmy więc em, ten proch. Great idea. I'll light the fuse and run. Technical KO. Kajanowski should know better than to leave his things lying around. Anyone could come in and steal them. Coś, coś to takiego jest pistolet parowy. Cleans off graffiti like nobody's business. Przydaje się do czyszczenia, między innymi do usuwania graffiti, co pokazał Kajdanowski w rozdziale numer 2 bądź 3. No i teraz idziemy do niematerialnego człowieka, który jest trochę brudny. I dajemy mu ten pistolet. Właściwie używamy na nim pistoletu parowego. Yes, sir, Dan Murray is taking control. You with the paint. Come over here. I'm gonna fix you up. Careful where you shoot that, okay? Clean as a whistle. Now we just have to wait for Looney Tunes to get here with the film. And it's labeled exactly like the original. At last, everything was ready for the exchange of films. The immaterial man took the can from Liz and followed Dan until... Willie, there's something I'm still not clear on. Are you sure that guy over there isn't Bobby Russell, the masseur for the freaks? Oh, my friend Murray, your scorn for the movies is legendary. As I told you, it's Carl Doherty. He's one of my biggest stars. With that face, and one of the smallest ones like, do you know how many millions of... Okay, okay, Willie. Your dog Zelsius still hasn't managed to get his hands on me, so I'm not under your control. What's more, I oppose you, and I'm going to crush your political future. Listen, with the help of Eva Morte, the Grim Reaper, and Liz Allaire, I made a film that deals you a technical knockout. Maybe you can't see him, but at my side is the immaterial man who just exchanged your camp for mine. Tomorrow will be shown in all your theaters, and the day after that, my friend, you'll be ruined. So, how does it feel? <laughs> what a guy. <clears throat> you almost had me going there for a minute, kid. It's the copying company. We'll get the McCann and you do what you want. Hey, this uh, calls for a celebration. Um... Ah, yes. The next day, spectators in over 3,000 movie theaters in the United States became aware of the true intentions of William A. Fitz Randolph. Fitz Randolph's not fab. Fitz Randolph loves only himself. He forced me to pretend that I had changed to promote his election campaign. His dream of equality for monsters is a lie, and the only monster that matters to him is William A. Fitz Randolph. Under Fitz Randolph, we will all be slaves. Fitz Randolph's not fab. That's who William A. Fitz Randolph really is. A magnate who manipulates actors to achieve his diabolical ends. He lies, makes others lie, and behind his respectable appearance, he hides a thirst for power. It didn't take long for the consequences to appear. The monster actors refused to keep working for MKO. Instantaneously, the company's stock hit rock bottom as did the credibility of its owner, William A. Fitz Randolph, and his dreams of political greatness. His ally, Dr. Zelsius, came out of it better. Thanks to the chip that Fly implanted in his brain, he discovered that his mechanical aptitudes could make many people very happy. Murray, 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 Murray! The article is fantastic! Magnificent! Who would have thought that the cynical veteran and the enthusiastic novice would make such an adorable couple? 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 No way. With you? Never. Cretan. Half-wit. Jerk. Looney. Good. Well, good. Nice story. I like how you told it. Tomorrow it's your turn. 
Which will you choose? You'll find out tomorrow. So, dinner? I can't wait. Hey, I'll race you to the kitchen. The winner comes in second. 2012 1-4. <laughs>